Smile and learn. Today we're going to learn about diseases and medicines. The immune system fighting diseases. The immune system is the body's defense force against diseases. It is in charge of recognizing and eliminating viruses and other pathogenic microorganisms that may cause diseases. You can help keep your immune system strong by eating healthy, doing physical activities regularly, and resting well. Treatment Antibiotics Sometimes, our immune system alone is not enough to protect us from certain microorganisms, and that is the reason why we get sick. This is when we need medicine. Medicines work in two ways. They alleviate the symptoms of disease, or they fight the infection. Medicines that fight bacterial infection are widely known as antibiotics or antibacterial medicines. You should be careful when taking antibiotics as they can also eliminate all bacteria in our body. This is a problem because some of those bacteria, like the intestinal flora, are beneficial. Another problem with antibiotics is that they can cause bacterial resistance. If we took antibiotics frequently, bacteria would become insensitive to them. That is to say, antibiotics would lose effectiveness. It is important to go to the doctors to get a prescription of antibiotics only if we really need them. Alexander Fleming made one of the most important discoveries in medicine, penicillin, the first antibiotic in the 20th century. This discovery has saved millions of human lives. Did you know that thanks to his discovery, Fleming was awarded the Nobel Prize of Medicine in 1945? Prevention Vaccination Vaccines have been developed for many diseases. Do you know how these vaccines came about? Edward Jenner was the first scientist in Europe who succeeded in immunizing a human being following a process similar to vaccination. In the 19th century, Louis Pasteur followed up on Jenner's research. This is how vaccines for diseases that caused many deaths started to be developed. Also, the frequency with which diseases like measles or mumps appear was reduced. Vaccines prepare our immune system showing it how to recognize a virus. It's like meeting someone for the first time. He or she will not be a stranger anymore. Next time you see them, you'll know who they are. The same thing happens with vaccines and our immune system. Vaccines introduce our immune system to the virus. And if at some point this virus enters our body, the immune system will remember which one it is and will react. This is how we won't get sick. However, there's no vaccine yet for many diseases like Ebola or other new surging viruses. Other medicine. As we have already discussed, there are other medicines to alleviate some symptoms. For example, when we have a high fever, it is necessary to lower it. In this case, we could take an antipyretic, which would help control our body temperature. There are also other medicines like coughing syrups. Remember that the best treatment is to maintain good health, looking after our body, eating healthy food, doing physical activities, and avoiding harmful habits. Take care of yourself and keep on learning with us! Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.